Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what is your current love situation? What is your current love situation? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at your energy first in regards to love, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's take a look at your energy, Scorpio. Spirit, show me the energy of Scorpio in regards to love, please. Let's make this for the last week of September 2021. the energy of Scorpio in regards to love, please. Alright Scorpio, first card we have here for you, the Three of Pentacles in Reverse, the Star card in Reverse, the Seven of Wands Upright, and the Eight of Cups in Reverse. All right, let me take a look here. Is this Eight of Cups? Yeah. All right, so there's a huge resistance here towards someone. You might be blocking someone or someone is blocking you. Um, there's a little, there's an energy of aggressiveness here, um, maybe anger here. There's a lack of hope here with the star in reverse. Um, you're not on the same page with someone with the three of pentacles in reverse. You two are not really understanding each other or communicating well with each other. Um, we do have here the eight of cups in reverse. So I do feel like you're thinking about someone. You're thinking about whether you should give someone a second chance. Or maybe you're thinking about wanting someone to return back to you. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Pentacles, please, in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, and the Five of Cups upright. So there was a lack of work, a lack of effort that was being put into a relationship that caused the separation. Um, I'm not sure who is who here, but someone felt like they weren't receiving enough attention from someone. Um, Okay, tell me about the star in reverse. We have the fool and the two of cups. So Scorpio, do you want a new beginning here? It looks like you want a new beginning here with with someone who, who you love, who, someone who's really special to you, someone who you can't get off your mind. Mm, tell me about the seven of wands, please. We have the Nine of Wands being guarded and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, but someone has commitment issues here. Someone is not sure that they want to actually commit to someone. Someone's being guarded here with the Nine of Wands. I'm saying someone because I'm not sure if this is you or if I'm picking up on your person's energy. 
But it looks like someone wasn't ready here to accept love into their life. And with the Seven of Wands, they kind of um, blocked it out. Or they shut the door on love here. Out of fear. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse. We have the World card in reverse. So someone feels like there is unfinished business. What else? And we have the Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like someone is looking for for commitment here. For commitment, like this isn't just some sort of random hookup or random fling. Like there's someone here who's taking this relationship very seriously. However, there is disappointment here because someone wasn't invested with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. There was someone who really wasn't fully invested into this and they weren't committing. All right, let's take a look at your person's energy. Spirit, show me the energy of your person, of, um, of Scorpio's person, please. I said of your person. <laughs> Of spirit's person, of Scorpio's person. Show me the energy of Scorpio's person, please. Okay, in regards to your person, Scorpio, first card we have here is the Six of Swords. You might be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. We have here the card of Judgment, could be, again, an Aquarius. We have here the Knight of Wands, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And we have here the King of Cups in Reverse. King of Cups in reverse. So that would be your energy as a water sign. Scorpio, I feel like this person is, is coming towards you. Yeah. I feel like they're coming towards you. You're coming up in the reverse position. So maybe you're the one who's being a little bit resistant here. Or you're the one who is... Um, with the seven of wands, you're you're blocking this person, or you're you're not fully letting them in because you don't trust them. We have the nine of wands here, which means that you're guarded. You're not you don't fully trust this person. You don't fully trust their intentions. Hmm. And yet there is love here because the Two of Cups is here. So there is love. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards. Tell me about the Six of Swords spirit here. Six of Swords upright. It's possible this person was a little bit slow in, in, in making a decision here. I feel like with the judgment card, it could be that they, you know, they were really slow in, in taking any sort of action towards you. Or, or in deciding if they wanted to be with you or not. Okay, let's clarify Six of Swords, and we have the Lovers. Okay, so this person's in love with you. They feel a strong magnetic attraction to you. They want to move towards you. What else? And the Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they want to move towards you. They want to reconcile with you. Tell me about the Judgment card, Spirit. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Mm what else? And the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is what I'm saying. This person maybe was being wishy-washy with you. Maybe that's why you're guarded here. 
they were being really wishy-washy. They weren't really giving you any clear, um, a clear sign or mm, clear communication. They weren't really clearly showing their interest in you, I feel. Or they weren't demonstrating their interest in you. There was a one-sidedness going on here with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Maybe because this person's a player. This Knight of Wands is a card of the player. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't really like their energy here. I I can see their inconsistency here. Knight of Wands upright and the King of Wands in reverse. It should be the other way around. It should be King of Wands upright and the Knight of Wands in reverse. So this person's a little bit immature still. And with the Knight of Wands, I feel like they kind of want to be free at the same time that they want to be in a relationship. And it doesn't work that way. You can't be at, in two places at the same time, you know? And I feel like with the Three of Wands, this person is... They're constantly, like, unsatisfied with something. Like, they constantly want more and more. I feel like this person has, like, an adventurer spirit. They like to... They like to just live a life at, of adventure or adrenaline. They're constantly looking for... Uh, for, um... For the next thing that will give them adrenaline. Yeah, I feel like this person has a hard time settling down. Tell me about the King of Cups in reverse, please. We have the Star. And we have the Hierophant. I feel like they maybe they say they want to marriage with the Hierophant. They want marriage or they want to settle down with you. I see that this person has feelings for you. They're very attracted to you. And maybe they're trying to to compromise with you, you know. And to, to have a, a balanced relationship with you. I mean, they're trying. I don't know how successful they'll be, though. I feel like they're trying, though. And they want to come back to you and give it another chance. Um, but you might block them. With the Seven of Wands, you might block them. And I don't think um, you would necessarily be wrong in doing that. Because I can see their incons inconsistencies here. But I mean, you know, you just have to follow your intuition. Follow your heart. And do what... Um, See what it tells you and, and make make a judgment there from 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 that place of intuition. Alright, I'm gonna end the reading here, Scorpio. I hope this was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.